Lisa, I want to thank you for coming today for your reading and to share sacred space with me is what I call it. I would like to share with you your blueprints that Spirit has written for you. May I do that? Yes. Okay. Do you see reoccurring numbers or patterns in your life? This is how they were coming up. So sometimes it can be like 1111. It was like 111, 222, 333. How is it showing up for you? Because they're not just jumbled together. It's like 444. How, it, how is it showing up for you? I don't know. I just seem to notice patterns wherever they ah. are. I just did. Patterns are very easy for me to see. Now I have to tell you that the numbers and patterns that are coming for you are actually coming from loved ones who want to talk to you. So if so, yes, you need to be systematic and have that that thought process. But if you're out somewhere and it really is like, oh, that was 444 that I had to buy, whatever it was, that is a loved one coming through at that time. So I, I do I do notice uh, numbers on on alarm clocks or you know purchases or you know, and it's funny and I always comment on it and I'm like, oh. And it's uh, from when I was a kid, it was like, oh, make a wish. So I always make a wish during that time. So You have a male and a female coming together at the same time. They're thanking you for holding such love and tenderness in your heart for them. I am not sure if they, um, if they are grandparents or um, aunt and uncle. And I feel like they passed within a close time frame of each other. Were they on dad's side of the family? My aunt and uncle. And they were just like my second parents. Oh, wow. uh, they did pass together in a car crash. I was, I was hoping that they were to come through, and I got my wish. So they came in very lovingly mm -hmm. from this beautiful couple. It's how much they love and how much they miss you. They want you to know that they miss you as much as you are missing them. And um, they say that they were able to see the real you, not, not any facades, that they know who you really are. The you that never needed to prove yourself, and the you that you know is so worthy of love, of validation, and of goodness in your life. So they're seeing that part of you. They also are wishing to tell you how much they love you. They say, and they keep saying this over and over, that they need you to feel the love that they have for you. They want you to feel that. So in times where you're feeling challenged or wounded or on, you know, someone's attacking you, mm -hmm. lean on their love because they're like, no, no, we know who you are. They were referencing March. Also, the number 13 could be January, and if it's the third, it's March again. Right. Do any of those make any reference? No. Yeah, there was a loss in January. There was a loss in January. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I feel like March is still something significant because of the three that's there. Mm -hmm. Let it sit with you and see perhaps how it shows up. It was my godfather who passed um, a January ago, and uh, I unfortunately, because of a snowstorm and because I was um, very pregnant I wasn't able to go to his funeral. I do have a, a big goal coming up in March that I'm, I'm hoping, it, well it's a small goal stepping stone to a bigger 2020 goal um, but it's the, the first step is in March. So They come in very specific and parent-like for you is what they were saying. They say that they have a very close connection to you. They want you to know that no matter where you go in life they will follow you and they will guide you every step of the way is what they're saying. They're referencing the ability to write or to blog or to be creative. Do you do any of that? I do. Can you, or is it all of that or what is it? It's so powerful, your words. Right, so, so I'm a podcaster and I've taken a year off, so. Are you craving it? Yes. Okay, so then they're making that reference to that. They say that they want you to know that your words are so powerful and they're powerful in the world around you that you must speak your truth even when others will make you feel that you are not validated. You need to keep speaking however form that takes, the written word, the spoken word. I have a, a co-host and I've been waiting for her and, and now I think it's time for me to go solo. There's an indication of being on your feet or pushing yourself to the limit, Spirit was saying. Spirit is asking for you to create goals and challenges for yourself, but then to take time to slow down and settle. Does that make sense to you? Completely. I'm a triathlete, um, and and I've been running, um, you know, picking it up, picking up the pace again with again with my goal 2020, um, and in my my dream 2020 is to do a full Ironman. So. Now I also have father. Has father passed or is he with you? He's with us. He's with you. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what it is that his soul would like you to know. Father steps into your reading as well and he says that you are a dreamer. 
He says that this is what he loves most about you. It's your ability to see what you want to create in life and find all the ways to go about getting what you want. Does that make sense? It does. And I feel like it's not sandcastles in the air. I feel like he's like, she dreams. She thinks about it. She wants this. He says that you're not afraid to manifest your dreams and your desires. That if you ever feel like you are struggling, you're to call effort effortlessly upon your loved ones to come forward to give you some help and some guidance. So he's saying you can see it. You're going to be able to manifest it. But of course, we are human and we struggle. Call upon your aunt, your uncle. I, I get something into my head, um, and then I find ways on how to make it happen. So, whatever, whatever I choose to do, I make it happen. Father is asking for you to take time each day and to let go of anything that feels too heavy to carry, that your burdens and worries will be handed over to the universe. So that's what he's saying is, you don't even have to, it's great if we have a therapist, but if you're like, I'm just done, I'm just done, take this away, just breathe out and imagine that anything that feels heavy, that you're saying, I don't need it, I don't want it, I don't need it, just take it away. You have some sacred and divine mantras that come for you today. They are guided by your loved ones, so your aunt and your uncle that are coming forward, your father's soul. They are in this order for you. I am worthy. I am love. I am grace and tenderness. I will see my greatest potential and let nothing get in the way of this. Yes, I, I, I am worthy. I am enough. I am me. Take me for who I am. As I close your reading, you are to trust that your loved ones are with you always, that they miss you as much as you miss them. They want you to feel their love, feel their connection, and look for the many signs in which they are wishing to connect and to communicate with you. Thank you. Thank you.